Okay, I got a real treat and a real nugget here for you enthusiasts. If you see these logs are cut, okay, and you can see the oysters. Now, I inoculated these logs. I cut the tree down and inoculated them with a mushroom I found in the wild. And I'll explain the mushroom and the type of tree later. But this oyster is host specific and it's a spring variety. This is why I said in video 2 of Beginner's Mushrooms, it's important to learn the different types of trees. Okay, Alma's going to go ahead and remove these for us. They're fully adult. They're quite large, actually. Smell like candy, anise. It's adultos, it's full, giganta. Now we have some more over here we're going to show and remove in a minute. This is the original tree that I cut down. Okay, this is the original tree I cut down. And as you can see, this log, the trunk of the tree is just full of these oysters. But they're adults. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And you can see the inoculation hole, the original inoculation holes, right along in here, that I put in this log. In this, actually, it's a tree trunk. You can see them. Now, over here, if you look, this is the actual tree I cut down and I inoculated the top of this so I'm guessing in next year there's going to be mushrooms here too so all's looking good it's a good example for those of you that want to try to grow your own whether it's in the woods or in your yard or whatever wow, yeah. wow. giganta That little shopping bag, it's not going to fit. No, no possible entrar. Necessary uno, dos más bolsa. Two or three more. Oh my God. It's cold. Yeah? Yep. yep. Here I'm going to demonstrate, here's a fallen tree. I'm going to demonstrate how to inoculate this. Okay, we're just going to drill a hole here. We're going to take a piece of our oyster and we're going to cut it, get a slice where we can shove it in a hole. Come on, Mas Bruxim, let's see what you guys can do. In this hole. Okay. We're going to slice off a piece. That's a little too big. We're going to shove it in our hole. Just pack it in there. It helps to have a pencil or a stick. A stick will do. Just to help pack it in a hole. Okay. Now we're going to take our candle. 
We're going to light it up. We're going to go ahead and just seal that with wax. Seal up that hole to retain the moisture and protect it. Just as simple as that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here's another whole tree trunk that I inoculated. You can see it's a whole tree. I almost found some more buttons down there. You can see right here the inoculation hole. And right next to that, it's just full of buttons starting to open up. Now I mentioned that this oyster is host specific. Now this oyster is called Pleurotus popluinus. And this particular oyster will only grow on a quaking aspen tree. Now it's a springtime oyster. And it has a distinct flavor of anise or licorice. 